Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to install Veeam, which is a backup solution manager um, that will help you with doing some backups on either your like VMs or your files and stuff like that. So this video will kind of just be showing you how to install it. And then we'll show you in other videos how to, you know, set up a backup for your VMs or other things with it. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself and I. So if you enjoy my content or want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email's in the description below. So let's get started, guys. All right. So um, the first thing we'll do here is we actually in will install it on actually one of our other servers here. So let's RDP to it. I think it's 58 is what it is um, in here. So let's log in. Um, so this server is actually just running Windows uh, 2022 uh, server um, and so essentially it's just your your basic server um, nothing else you know just apply some updates um, it's, it's your base install essentially um, so what we'll do here is kind of show you and obviously I haven't logged into edge yet so this is why it's taking forever to actually load edge all right let's get started actually yeah so oh my god so many things here clearly I'm not sponsored by edge guys because it's too many pop-ups. Okay, so <laughs> we can look up, uh, let's go to google.com real quick. Veeam um, free download. So Veeam actually um, supports an open source, um, not, not open source, a community edition, sorry, a community edition that you can download for your own things. Now with a community edition, you're kind of limited to a few things. Um, it's not fully, fully, um, you know, you can do anything with it. So it's like 10 workloads. So essentially 10 things that you can kind of like set up for backup jobs and things like that. But for the most part, it will probably do what you need for your home lab. So um, from here, you can click download free. It will essentially make you put in your email, first name, last name, um, phone, and all, all that stuff. So from here, I've already done this. So, you know, my information is already, they already have my information if they ever want to contact me. Um, it will, after you, after you set all that up, it will essentially send you an email, ask you to verify that, you know, this is truly your email and then get you to a page, um, that you can download it. And I've already downloaded it. So it's actually just, just this ISO here that I downloaded. And it's like a 12.2 gig ISO, um, which is actually really huge, but it kind of makes sense for what it needs to do. So what we'll do here is double click this ISO and it will essentially mount it like, you know, like another CD that you plugged into your computer type situation. Um, and then we will run the setup here. All right. And then hit install. So on here, what we'll do is actually just install Veeam and backup replication. This will also actually install the uh, rep, uh, backup and replication console too, so that you can actually view the stuff um, on this machine. Um, so you don't actually have to like come back and install it. It will actually install as part of this. So we'll hit the top. Hold on. Um, so it'll initialize the setup wizard while we wait. Okay, so now we'll click accept on the license agreement. And then uh, since we're using the community edition, you have to leave this checked. Um, you don't need to provide a license file and we're just set next here too. It's going to go through its installation, configuration check, enabling any missing features, anything else that it'll need. So give it a few seconds. There's a lot of waiting. Let's put it that way. There's a lot of waiting on this install, which is totally fine. So you, you'll hit next, 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 and then, you know, it'll install. So um, we'll definitely fast forward the parts of the videos that are just like massive amounts of wait. All right. So now that it has done all the prereq steps, um, we can see a few things. So our installation folder, in case we want to decide to uh, change it up or our cache folder. Um, it's going to use Postgres on the back end. It will use um, the SQL server, which is going to be name of the computer, running Postgres. Database name will be that. Pretty much everything is default. You could customize the settings if you want, but we're just going to leave everything as default. And then we hit install. Um, so this part is probably going to take the longest. So I'll step one through eight, it will be installing the SQL da Postgres database on the back end um, and making sure that it has everything that it needs to do things. So we'll fast forward when this finishes. All right, so that took about like 10-ish minutes, which wasn't actually too bad, but I am running this on an NVMe on my server. So it's gonna be a lot faster than if you were running this on like spinning this. So that's just one thing to consider. But 
10-ish minutes was, was about my timeline. So now that we have it in successfully installed, we can hit finish. And then you'll also notice here that now you see the Veeam backup and replication console over here. So you can actually hit that open and we can see that we'll connect to our backup server, which it's uh, created on localhost on itself. So, and then we'll log in with our Windows session. Um, so we hit connect and then it should here appear um, license community edition, which is what we're expecting. We got the things to load and give it a second. And there we go. So um, those components to be updated. So let's make sure we hit apply to update, select. Um, oh, so in here, this will take a few minutes while it's querying for the install components. So you just want to make sure you do this just to make sure it got it has gets everything installed correctly. Um, so give it a few seconds here. Okay, so now it shows that all components have upgraded. We all good. We hit finish here, and now you have successfully installed the Veeam backup and replicate replication community edition on your windows 2022 server um this is the welcome page essentially it's just telling you hey if you want to you know get there more better editions you can and get pricing for that um in this case we're going to stick for a community edition for our home lab and we'll have some fun with that so um that's it for this video so uh we'll create some more videos on how to essentially uh, back up your virtual infrastructure um, if you're using like VMware um, or I think there's like file shares that you can also back up. So we'll be doing some of that too um, in different videos. So if you enjoyed this video though, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.